apologize, I can't. Every night we play this song, it becomes more cathartic, and at the same time, it becomes increasingly more painful. Because we keep losing soldiers in this war. And I'm tired. I'm so sick and tired of losing so many people that are so talented, so many people that I care so deeply about, to the demons of addiction and depression. We lost Keith Flint from The Prodigy recently. I miss him. I miss Chester. I miss Scott. I miss Chris. Paul Gray, Wayne Static. The list goes on and on and on. And this is not just an epidemic that affects the world of entertainment. Our veterans, our military, they're dropping like flies. We proudly support the 22 Kill Initiative. 22 veterans take their own life every single day, ladies and gentlemen. And we do not do enough to support them. We don't. And this, these diseases, and that is exactly what they are. The stigmas attached to these diseases are unbelievably unjustified. Being taken by addiction or depression is no one's fault. It's something that just afflicts you. It's something that you're forced to fight. It is not something for you to be embarrassed of. It is not something for you to be ashamed of. And to prove that, to prove that this is something that is more common than you might think, I'd like to try an experiment with you here tonight if I have your trust. Don't be afraid. How many of you have dealt with the demons of addiction and depression yourselves or know someone that has? Raise your hand. Now take a look around this arena. You are not alone. We fight this war together, ladies and gentlemen. And it's up to us not to let any more of our foot soldiers die. So I say tonight, we make a pact. We take a stand, here and now, that we will no longer stand idly by while we watch our friends being consumed by these demons. That we will be active friends that we will intervene, that we will show care and affection, that we will reach out if you have the slightest doubt in your mind that they might be in crisis. Do not wait until the day of their funeral when you are standing in front of their casket wishing that you would have done more. Do we have an agreement? This is a song that speaks about the very subject matter that has driven many of our colleagues to the arms of those demons. 